<laughs> Who are you? Simon. This is Simon. Come on, do it again. Bit of whoopee, yeah, they're thrilled to see you. <laughs> uh, so, where are you from, Simon? Uh, from East Putney. East Putney! <laughs> East Putney Massive! <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, uh, Simon, yes, off you go. OK, when I was ten, my parents took me to a small farmer's <laughs> house. Going to a small farmer's sale, and we took the youth there. And so, Dad, I couldn't understand a word you Dad, were saying. Dad, okay. Dad was looking for some animals and things to take home to our farm. And so, anyway, him and Mum spotted this little dining room table. And I was just wandering around in my in my jandals and you know just checking out the stuff. <laughs> Mum and Dad spotted this table and chairs that they thought that's going to be perfect in the dining room. <laughs> we put it on the back of the ute and we're going home. And us boys are sitting up, me and my two brothers sitting up on the back of the ute in the chairs in the dining room table chairs. <laughs> Dad thinks it's a very good idea. Oh, I know what we'll do. You boys want some ice cream out the back? You know. And so we're like, yeah, absolutely, we'll have ice cream. Next thing you know, we're all sitting there licking our ice creams, sitting on the back. Dad decides to send a bit of Formula One, he'd like to take the corner probably a bit quicker than he should have. Me on my chair, bang, fall down on the road. Like that. Who's there? Hello, sir. Hi there. Hi, what's your name? Ryan. Ryan, and where are you from, Ryan? I'm from New Zealand. Oh, lovely. Home of the story, New Zealand. <laughs> mm. And are you travelling? Have you settled uh, living here? here for two years. For two, just, just two years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 what, are you doing, what are you doing for two years? Uh, I'm an electrician. An electrician? Yeah. Is that handy? Uh, OK, Ooh, uh, off you go card. with the Get his card. <laughs> <laughs> off you go with the story, Ryan. Uh, so I was at a New Year festival. Um, I'd had a bit too much to drink during the day in the campground. Uh, I was walking along to the festival and I needed to get rid of a bit of what I'd drunk. Um, so I oh, saw a whole lot of portaloos. I ran up to them, ripped the door open, uh, projectile spewed everywhere. Uh, then I looked down and I just spewed all over a guy who was sort of relieving himself on the loo. Um, <laughs> I was a bit freaked out. First thing that came to mind, he looked angry, he was going to whack me. I gave him a bit of a whack myself, slammed the door and ran away. <laughs> I quite no, 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 no. I, that's awful. No, I quite like that he vomited at someone and then hit them. <laughs> I, I, I would let you walk. Right? Couch, walk. I think that's walk. Walk. Do you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he's gone. He's gone. Too late. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm very well. And uh, who are you? My name is Brittany. Brittany. Yeah. And uh, where are you from, Brittany? I'm from New Zealand. <gasps> New Zealand. <laughs> we love a New Zealander. We love a New Zealand. Long story short, we love a New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and do you live here now, Brittany? Yes, I'm living in London, working. Oh, great. What are you doing, Brittany? I am working as a nanny. Lovely. Not paying any tax. Um, <laughs> <laughs> using our services, walking on our streets, but, uh, enjoying our street life, but no. Uh, uh, <laughs> Go with the story, Brittany. Well, I was out one night for a friend's birthday. Um, <laughs> we were having a few drinks when we ran into a couple of very cute Irish brothers. Oh, yes. Um, so a few drinks later, one thing led to another, and I actually went home with one of the brothers, oh, the Brittany. younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was rudely awoken in the middle of the night, and he was standing in the corner peeing. So I sort of woke up and went, What are you doing? What are you doing? He got a fright and sort of think he was half asleep, went to the toilet. All was well. Woke up in the morning and went, OK, this is where it gets awkward. Do I tell him? What do I do? Um, thought, I'm never going to see this guy again. So I went, um, do you remember peeing in the corner last night? And he went, no, 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 I didn't. It was all embarrassed. So we went over and checked the corner and there was nothing there. It was dry. I went, oh, I've dreamt it. What, you know, what actually happened? So anyway, he was dropping me off home. Thought I'd get dressed, um, went to put on my shoes and realised he'd peed in my shoes. Oh! Tell him I just carried, <laughs> carried on home and threw the shoes out when I got home. <laughs> okay, I'm saying I think you should walk. That's quite a good one. What are you, yeah. What's the couch saying? I like, I like that now. story. <laughs> she should walk, but in her shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brittany, you can walk. Yay. Off you go. Well done, Brittany. Ooh. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, what's your name, sir? My name's Nick. Nick, lovely. And where are you from, Nick? I'm from New Zealand, <gasps> but I live here. Oh, you live here? Until and next uh, Wednesday. What do you do here? I'm a paramedic. A, par a proper job and everything. Yes. We're glad you're That's here. Yes. 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 yes.
Uh, okay, off you go with your story, sir. Uh, so, when I was a paramedic back in New Zealand, uh, one Sunday afternoon, I went to a guy that chopped uh, three fingers off from the lawnmower. Ooh. And we packaged his hand up. We had to look for his fingers in the bush and the hedge oh. and everything like that. And we rushed him to hospital, because if they get to hospital in time, they can reattach the fingers. And on the way to hospital, I said, you're 40 years old. How do you know not to put your hands at the bottom of a lawnmower? And he said, I was driving home one uh, this afternoon and I saw that a guy had picked up the lawnmower, turned it on his side and walked across the front of his hedge. <laughs> and he said, that's a brilliant idea. I need to do that. <laughs> so he did his lawns and then he did that. And as he turned up to hospital, we walked into recess to see the surgeon and we walked past another person and he said, hey, that's the guy I saw doing the lawnmower. <laughs> and he cut off three of his fingers and ground. You can walk it. Walk, walk, walk. Yeah, you made it. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> These are the easy bits. Uh, and what's your name, sir? Uh, my name's Brad. Brad? Brad. <laughs> Brad. Okay. I, I, feel like, I feel like I've reached at Starbucks. I'm just having bread on the cup. Okay, there you go. Uh, okay, Brad, sorry. And where are you from, Brad? Uh, New Zealand. Of course you are. They're always from New Zealand. I don't know. They're, they're, New Zealand must be empty. There's no, you must go to New Zealand and just, the airport is deserted. <laughs> they're all queuing for the red chair. Uh, OK, Brad, uh, do you live here or are you just visiting? Uh, I'm living in London for okay. 10 years. OK, what do you do here? Uh, I'm working in a marketing department for a university in London. Oh, that's quite a proper job, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Brad. <laughs> uh, OK, Brad, off you go with your story. Uh, so, I was in Italy, actually, uh, in Naples, and uh, was walking down the street, and it was obviously in a lightning storm, and there was a, a heck of a lot of rain coming down. Uh, and a very, very kind old lady offered me shelter in her house, and uh, I went in, she made me a coffee, and she offered me a change of clothing. Uh, it was when I was in the room next door, trying to put my leg through the trousers that I tripped over, uh, I knocked a bookshelf and the urn on the top of the bookshelf <laughs> came crashing down. Uh, I was still wet from the rain and as the urn hit the ground, the ash went all over me. Uh, to make matters a little bit worse, uh, as I uh, pulled, managed to pull the pants uh, up around my waist and started to clean up the mess that I had made, I saw a photo and it was the lady's husband, well, what looked like her husband, uh, and he was wearing the same pants that I had just wore. <laughs> so, um, that was potentially the most embarrassing and awkward. That moment. is a very good story. <laughs> That's excellent. You can walk. Walk, Brad. Walk. Do you want to be flipped? No, walk. Do you want to be flipped? Do you want to be flipped? OK, there you go, Brad. Hey. That was a good story. Lots of detail. It was excellent. A short story in that. Normally, Matthew, they're not very no. good. No. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? I'm Andy. Andy, uh, uh, are you from New Zealand? Yes, we yes. Love yes. It. We love New Zealand. <laughs> Embassy in New Zealand. You must have New toured Zealand? New Zealand. I've never toured New Zealand, no. Are you kidding? No. You're kidding. I would, I would love to, but I never went. No, but I you've never... been everywhere. I know, everywhere but New Zealand. Let's hear a story. <laughs> Let's hear a story. <laughs> I'll pick up with this story. Okay, so I was uh, out for a run with my friend Dunk, and uh, we were running past a, <laughs> running past a park. <laughs> And Dunk really needed to go for a poo. So <laughs> we saw a, a woman with Can I just a stop you? That's why you've never been to New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we saw a, a toilet block and there was a men's and a woman's. And uh, we ran over to the men's and <laughs> he was busting. He really needed to get this thing out of him. <laughs> and the men's was closed. So at this stage he didn't even care. So he went over to the women's toilet and that was closed as well. So he's frantically looking around, where can I go, where can I go? So he ran over to this, this bush and crouched down behind this bush and he went. And about 30 seconds later, I saw this a big German shepherd came bounding over and <laughs> Dunk pulled his pants up, jogged off, and then, this, uh, and then about 20 seconds later, the owner of the German shepherd came over and she was like, oh, Roy, you <laughs> naughty boy. <laughs> it's a bag, it's a bag around. <laughs> Picks up the poo, ties it to a belt, and then just wanders off with the poo dangling from the belt. Use it more! Well done! Very good story! Very good story! Hello! Hello, hello! Oh, no, 
Okay. Hello. Okay. Now, now focus, everyone. Focus. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to focus the couch. You're in, yeah. Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, I'm Sam from New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. We like that. New Zealand. We like New Zealand. Yeah, sorry, yeah. He just tapped himself. <laughs> well, you know, he's from New Zealand. He's excited. No, no, no. Sorry. What did you get flipped for? Oh, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Sam, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. Focus, everyone. Focus. Focus. Okay, Sam. So, I know, really. Uh, yeah, I would so... really gather yourself. All right, all right. Okay, uh, just go with your story. Go with your story. Okay, um, so my story actually involves one of your guests, Graham. Um, uh, Helena. Helena! Oh. Yeah. Helena. <laughs> so, yeah, my mum's a nurse, and um, she used to live in London. She told me not to tell the story, and she's probably going to kill me now. But oh, she'll she'll be not... Not... <laughs> You, you decide. Can we no, bring I'd him like back? To bring him back. He want, yes, we want to hear. Okay, okay. Okay, you're good, Sam. You're golden. You're golden. Okay. Okay, here you go. Here you go, Sam. So your mother told you not to tell the story. Long story short. Helen is in it. Go. Okay. She's in it. Um, Mum was a nurse, and she actually used to look after her father for a while oh. when they lived above the flat. Oh, okay. And anyway. Um, yeah, Mum would called? have a key and she'd go up every now and again. I think one time she was actually in the bathroom. <clears throat> And she heard someone yeah. singing around, singing around, and so she opened the door, and um, Helena's dancing around naked, dancing to some sort of song, and, and yeah, that's where my mum first kind of they kind of met, and you know that's it. No, 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 no,